Hey, hey, you are welcome. This is Wellness Drive, and we care about your health. In Wellness Drive, we talk about how you can prevent diseases, how you can live healthy, how you can maintain a healthy lifestyle using yourself as a as a medium to take care of your health. In Wellness Drive, we care about your health. Here we discuss issues pertaining to health, and we discuss issues on how you can prevent diseases. So today, I'm going to share with you 10 foods that is triggering your migraine headaches. Oftentimes, you think about how do I stop this headache that is disturbing me, or you're a kind of person that always have frequent headaches. This 10 foods could be one of the reasons why you're always having this constant headache. So as you dig through this information, you know about how you can prevent it. If it's this food that is causing this headache, probably you can't stop it or you minimize the way you eat them. So let's get started right away. How your diet is triggering migraine headache. According to the Migraine uh, Research in, uh, Foundation, foods that triggers migraine may only do that when combined with other triggers. When you combine them with other triggers, maybe it, may, it might be food, it might be drugs. So when you combine them together, they will frequently cause you migraine headache. So that is it. Then how do you uh, know those foods? I'm going to tell you now. Just stay with me. Let me show you those foods that can trigger migraine or constantly cause you headache. So let's get started. Number one is caffeine. Caffeine. Caffeine is a substance found in some of the beverages or food we eat. So too much caffeine consumption and experiencing caffeine withdrawal can cause migraine headache. If you're a kind of person that likes taking food like coffee, some part of tea, some uh, chocolate, you should know that they trigger uh, migraine because why they kind of stimulants that stimulate your your uh, nervous system and this can cause a shortage of running of blood in the flow of blood in the bloodstream then or leading to the brain and this can cause a migraine or headache so if you are giving too much to caffeine and you are always having frequent headaches, then you need to consider withdrawing from it. You need to consider withdrawing from it. That could help you curtail those uh, migraine or headache you have frequently. Then secondly is artificial sweeteners. Artificial sweeteners. The artificial sweeteners are sugar. These are sugar alternatives that are added to food and drinks to make them sweet. These are a kind of refined sugar, like for example, aspartame, in particular, have high rate of uh, uh, triggering migraine. In fact, it where it triggers migraine in different episodes, from different episodes, from one to two or thereabout. So these are some of the things that can trigger uh, migraine. So those are some of it. Then the next one is alcohol. Alcohol. Many people are given to alcohol. So if you take too much of alcohol, if you are given to high intake of alcohol consumption, you should know quite all right that this can trigger migraine. Alcohol is more common product thought to trigger migraine. According to one study from a trusted source, over 35% uh, of the participants or those who are reported to take alcohol, they have 77% are reported to uh, have uh, undergone a uh, migraine trigger. So alcohol can cause dehydration. Like alcohol has a high level of uh, 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 sugar in it, artificial sweetness in it. So you may say it doesn't taste sweet, but they have a whole lot in the body. So they cause dehydration. So and when there is dehydration, the blood flow is inhibited and this can cause a lot of problem in the body. So 
if you are taking alcohol frequently, then you have to know how to reduce it as this can trigger migraine. So that is the third one. Then the fourth one is chocolate, chocolate. Chocolate is thought to be the second highest migraine trigger after alcohol. It is said to affect 22% of people with migraine. 22% of uh, people with migraine. Why? Because chocolate contains caffeine, that is number one thing, and beta phenylalanine. So these this are chemicals in the body that can trigger headaches in the body. It triggers headaches. Why? Because it stops the flow of blood. It uh, stimulates the blood in a way that the blood doesn't flow well. And the fifth one is uh, monosodium glutamate. Monosodium is a kind of uh, sodium salt. They are uh, acidic salts. They are glutamic acid. So which naturally exist in our body, some of them exist in our body, but some are added to food as addictive. It is found in certain food as addictive. So these are things that can stimulate and cause the body to have a, a migraine. Though it is safe to eat, but it can be linked to cause migraine. I'm not saying you should not uh, be eating food that contains this monosodium, but you have to curtail it if you're a kind of person that always have this migraine trigger. So the, the next one is cured meat, cured meat. These are meat that are treated. They are treated with preservative. They are preservatives that are called nitrate. This nitrate, they are used to preserve color and the flavor of food. This food can release nitric oxide. This nitric oxide, they dilate the blood vessels. They causes the blood vessel to shrink. So when the blood vessels shrink, then blood can no longer circulate to the brain very properly. And you should know that the blood vessels leading to the brain are very tiny. So it thereby can cause migraine or cause headache. So those are it. Then the seventh one is HTCs. 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 The HTCs contain chemical uh, substances called tyramine. Tyramine, so these chemicals are something that inhibit flow. So it forms when a food aging causes the breakdown of proteins. Then common food that contain this tyramine are cheese, blue cheese, parmesan, and the feta. So all these things are very, you have to curtail it if you are a kind of person that is given to it. So because they can cause a lot of issues in your body can cause constant headache or uh, migraine. Then the eighth one is pickled or fermented food. Fermented food, fermentary fermentation causes production of alcohol. So you should know that fermentation can introduce uh, some other disease. Uh, pickled and fermented food also contain tyramine. Examples are pickles, kimchi, kombucha, pickled okra and the rest of them. So all these things can cause a whole lot in your body and as well uh, induce a migraine. So that is it. Then the ninth one, frozen food. Eating frozen foods and drinks like ice cream or sushis can trigger severe stabbing pains in the head. You are likely to experience headaches that comes that becomes migraine attack if you are eating cold food why it will shrink your blood vessels yes it will make the blood vessels not to flow very well of course cold food are not good for your body they are not good for your heart and several organs of the body so if you're a kind of person that eats frozen food so most times you, you have to stop it, you have to stop it. Then the tenth and the last one is consuming high level of salt. Yes, salt causes the blood pressure. Salt, uh, when you eat salt, you too much of salt, you are hurting the body. You are hurting the blood flow, you are hurting the kidney, you are hurting the liver. So you should reduce 
salt intake. Salt intake is thought to have a whole lot of issues in the body, it can damage the kidneys that can cause migraine headache. If you're a kind of person that eats too much of salt, it's not good for your health. So you have to avoid it because salt absorbs water and stops the flow of blood. So you need to stop it. Then how do you treat migraine headache? Treatment can involve over-the-counter medication. Like you go over the counter, they recommend some medication like uh, medication for headaches, migraine, uh, exerine to relieve pain. Your doctor may also prescribe some medication like tryptan or other things that will help you relieve some pains in the body. Then if you experience migraine episode, preventive medication can help. This includes beta blockers, which can help lower blood pressure. Then antidepressants, antidepressants also good for uh, that. That can help you to then in alternative uh, treatment, you can use massage therapy. Like in wellness uh, tribe, we help people provide massage therapy. Where in this massage we use what we call hypo apparatus. This hypo apparatus helps you to uh, flow, enhance flow of blood, open the blood vessels and enhance the flow of blood. Then vitamin B or a B2 or riboflavin can also help you. Then magnesium supplement. Then certain herbal tea that enhance flow of blood. In our company, we have a very powerful tea which enhances blood flow, the one that will make the blood flow to go very, very easily. So these are some of the things like uh, green tea and the rest. So this is very something, uh, something wonderful you can get. To get this alternative care, you can follow the link on the video, follow the link below. Our products are very wonderful. It's certified by World Health Organization, FDA and the rest, and also certified globally so these are wonderful products with high nutrient and can help you stay fit so we have all the best so if you have not subscribed to this channel make sure you subscribe to this channel tap on the notification bell so that you get notified anytime we post a new video so stay safe and healthy stay safe and healthy